Hello, it's Lee, and this is my PlayStation. Uh, what's special about this PlayStation is that it's one of the only other systems in my collection, other than my NES, that is actually my original. I received this at, on Christmas Day, I believe 1997, like it was almost at the end of the PlayStation uh, run. Um, I guess I'd been talking about video games enough that my parents finally broke down and got me one. Uh, I keep my controllers and wires in a Ziploc bag, kind of going along with my plastic container uh, thing for my other systems. So basically everything I keep sealed for freshness. This was a big deal for me to get just because I hadn't had a new system since 1987. So I guess it was a 10 year run where I didn't get anything uh, video game related. Um, in terms of how much I used it, I, I, I played quite a few games on it, uh, mostly sports games. Admittedly, at the time, I wasn't into anything particularly deep. I did borrow Final Fantasy VII from someone, and I kind of delved into that pretty deeply. But other than that, it was mostly sports games. I'll show you what I own. Um, I can still play some of these games. The nice thing about the PlayStation is it, yeah, it hasn't aged great but there are still some playable games, so I'm going to get this out of the way. Uh, I will say that I still have my original box for this PlayStation. I left it back at my parents' place. Uh, still have a lot of the original paperwork and a demo disc. Um, I also have uh, I have another PlayStation that I got at a yard sale for $5. It's the Mini one, kind of the Model 2, I guess, and it's also boxed. I haven't tried it yet. I don't know if it works. I paid $5. I figured it was worth it at $5. So these are my games. Um, there is a local rental store that closed down, and they were selling off games. Unfortunately, I didn't get there early enough to get some of the better titles, and some of them were actually complete. What I did end up getting were a lot of sports titles for about 50 cents a piece, and some of them were loose, uh, like this one. So this is Fox Sports Golf, I believe, 99, and it's kind of a terrible game, but whatever I needed I needed more material in my in my library uh, this game I actually do have complete I don't know where I left my case I just found it in this kind of case uh, this is Cool Borders 2 one of my favorites on the system I didn't like Cool Borders 3 uh, because you can actually turn your guy while he was in the air that just annoys me it's called physics um, I just noticed I put a lot of good games at the top. I'm going to try to dig through to some of the, the worst games I have. Here's one. NFL Game Day 97 Greatest Hits Edition. This must be worth like at least 50 cents on the open market. That's about what it, I actually paid double that. I think I paid 99 cents for this at a store. I bought it new, still sealed. Um, I'll get that out of the way. Here's another game I bought from that uh, video store, uh, FIFA 99. It was actually the most modern sports game I had at the time. Uh, I hate soccer. I pretty much hate everything about it. But this game's all right. It's actually pretty decent. Gave me something to do. Again, I paid about a dollar. Um, when I first got the system, my parents were looking for games. Or maybe it was the second year I had it. This is what they, one of the games they gave me. Um, I can't blame them for getting it. Uh, it looks cool from the cover. Uh, it's called VR Sports Powerboat Racing. It is terrible. It's one of these games where they automatically make the opponents catch up to you no matter how well you're racing. So you don't really have a sense of how good you are at this game. And similarly, they do the same thing to your opponents. I hate that. I hate it when it automatically makes you better at a game than you actually are. Um, here are some other games I have. This game I played a lot. I actually bought it used, I believe. This is NBA Live 99. Um, the guy on top on the cover is Antoine Walker. I was a big fan of his. He used to shoot three-pointers at a very bad rate, and they asked him, why do you shoot so many three-pointers? And he said, because they didn't invent a four-pointer yet. thought that was a brilliant answer. Here's the most modern sports game I think ever made for the PlayStation, which was NBA Shootout 2004. This is well into the PlayStation 2 era. 
and I was amazed that this still existed. I love basketball. I was going to pick it up no matter what. It's, a, it's not a very good basketball game. I actually kind of hate it. Here's another sports game that you'll see. I kind of had a one-track mind. I, I love sports. Um, I don't really love sports games in general, but on my PlayStation, that's kind of where my, my brain went. Uh, this is Triple Play 98. Um, your guys run like chickens in this game, but whatever, I played a ton of it. And now I'm going to get into the slightly better stuff. But I don't really don't have anything rare, even close to rare on this system. Um, nor do, do I really need anything. Like, I'll probably go a little deeper into it. I haven't started collecting for it yet. This game was bought for me uh, for my birthday or something like that. It's Grand Theft Auto 2. It's It was still that top-down kind of view I don't enjoy it at all. I don't I don't really like the the modern Grand Theft Auto games. Well, I'm saying modern. I'm, I only played like Vice City and stuff like that. I don't even really like those, but I really didn't like Grand Theft Auto 2. Um, this is Tekken 2. I like this game. Uh, I like Tekken 3 a lot. I played it at a friend's birthday party, and so Tekken 2 was available at the store for very cheap. It's the greatest hits, and I don't have a problem with greatest hits versions. As long as the game is the original, I really don't give a shit what the case looks like, um, provided it's in half decent shape, which is why I have this one. This is Gran Turismo, the original greatest hits. Um, bought this fairly recently, actually. I I, uh, I didn't have this uh, back in the day, uh, though I did play it. My friend lent it to me. Uh, this is great. I, I enjoy this this version of the game a lot. Um, I think I paid something like three dollars for this. It's one of these, or maybe five dollars. I think it's two for ten dollars at the store, and I bought this and something else for for the GameCube. I was quite happy. Uh, good game. This is the version I had uh, originally, and I love this game. And I played it to death, and I would still play it today if I had it hooked up right now because it's awesome. I, I really love Gran, Gran Turismo 2. That's pretty much all I have. I wish I had more to show you. Um, I will be getting into collecting uh, PlayStation games more. I'm kind of feeling like a, I've neglected it for a long enough time. I've actually kind of collected for every other system, even systems I don't even have working right now. So it's probably the one I've neglected the most. But I have a stack of games. It's just I have it's a stack of crap. Let's be honest. So hopefully I'll have another video up for you soon. Uh, I'm enjoying looking at this kind of generation and another one of my original systems. I'm really excited to show that. Thanks. Bye.